Thanks for stopping by to Like a Hawk. Good to see you. This, today we are going to break open a box of 2019 Tops Pro debut. So it was between this and Panini Legacy and Pro debut came in the mail today. Legacy is going to be for tomorrow. So Pro debut, you're going to get two autograph cards, two mem cards per box. And the base set is going to look exactly like the flagship uh, season one, top season one set. Um, and then there's going to be green parallels out of 99, gold, orange, red, black. There's also going to be inserts like they did from last year. And then there's going to be new is going to be 10 year anniversary reprints. They're going to have people like Trout and um, Chris Bryant. So it's going to be kind of cool to get one of those, but we are going to break into this. So if you're unfamiliar with this, this is minor league baseball. So couldn't get any of the Bowman mega boxes. To me, they're kind of like Bigfoot. People say they're out there in the wild, but I don't believe them. Um, so decided to go for the next best thing. I kind of pre-ordered this. Boxes pre-ordering was at 64. I think they've been bumped up to 70. Not sure why. Um, so we'll have to see if the price kind of warrants what we're seeing. I do have a box of Pro Debut last year that I have not broke. It's still sitting marinating in the Like a Hawk closet or not tool shed, but treasure chest back there. So we'll have to break that at some point. Um, but let's go ahead and open up and then we're going to be doing a hit forward at the end for hitting the Trevor Story Auto. So that will be at the end of this break. So stay tuned for that. Maybe we'll get another hit for, for this one. So we'll have to see. So here are the base cards again, the familiar look of Series 1, which I didn't like, but um, I didn't know that going in. So there's going to be the back of that. So again, the, the flimsier stock. Always like to see these different names down here, <clears throat> different minor league teams. So we got Joe Adele. There we go. Not sure if he's back from injury yet, but... Um, so here is Promo Night Uniforms Law Enforcement Appreciation Night. Always cool to see some of these. So just generic back, but that's kind of cool. Get that. Uh, and then that is going to do it for that pack. So listening to the Cubs game on the way home from work today, and I guess Rizzo over there. Um, was the second person that hit a home run off of the beer sign at Wrigley Field. So I guess the wind is blowing out. There's Hunter Green. The wind was blowing out, I want to say 18 to 20 miles per hour, which is pretty significant um, if you ever go to a Brendan Rodgers. So he is up right now in the majors. Um, that's pretty significant wind force, and Rizzo was able to hit a 3-1 homer. Um, and there was a first today in Major League history um, it was the first time that two people named Cole as their first name uh, pitched against each other. Started off pitching, so that was kind of cool. Cole Hamels did not do so well, neither did I, um, I think it was Cole Gal Galvin. Um, but, uh, yeah, Amoro Jr. hit a grand slam, his first one in his career for the Cubs. So, right now they're up, we'll see if they can hold on. Uh, and that's kind of another thing as we're going through these cards. Um, is it might be the bullpen that's going to produce the winner of, oh, this is kind of cool, MLB Leaps and Bounds, Miguel Amaya, South Bend Cubs. So there is the Leaps and Bounds subset. Um, well, Casey Mize, there you go, top prospect for the Tigers. Um, so saying the bullpen, yeah, because the, the Cubs lost one. This feels like the relic, so we're just going to go ahead and do one of those. Uh, the Cubs lost a game in uh, late in the, because of their bullpen. And, well, all right, let's just look at it. So we have a Fragments of the Farm Dustin May Top of Dugout. <laughs> okay. Top of Dugout from One OK or One Oak Field. Uh, unnumbered. But there you go. So where the heck are you going to be getting a fragment of the dugout? Nowhere else but in Topps debut. So that's kind of cool. And then we got the one card in there. Um, but, yeah, so it's just a matter of, you know, who are people going to blink and looking at uh, who's going to blink first in terms of going after some of the free agents. Are they going to be making trades for bullpen um, help? 
it should be interesting to see. So I believe the greens here, Corey Ray is going to be out of 99, and it is, so that's 80 out of 99. It's going to be our first numbered card. Hopefully not the last. Jesus Sanchez, Blake Rutherford, and Logan Allen. Um, what else is going on in the in the big leagues? Here we go. Nate Pearson, Sixto. There we go. Charlie Larnick. Zoo Knight. <laughs> wow. How, how would you like to wear a gorilla shirt? <laughs> Columbia Firefly Zoo Knight. Oh, good stuff right there. Dustin May. Wow, it looks like the old Astros uniforms right there, but that is that is hideous too. Wow. The Tulsa Drillers. So we do get two. We're gonna look for so for two more autos out of this. Um, I don't know, your big names I believe are are in here. So all right, this is gonna be out of 99. So we alright, so we got our first hit right here so this is going to be grant maybe levine um grand junction rockies i have to look into what he's done uh led the circuit in on base percentage okay six homers not a lot so that's not inspiring but he walks more and he strikes out so there we go there's the first hit Carter Kaiboom, who, who was up. I don't know if he stuck around. I haven't really, really been paying attention to what he's been doing. But uh, So there we go. We are halfway through with our hits in the set. And this feels like a relic number two. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'm not going to set this aside. hate when people do that online. So we're going to leave one of our hits to the end. Nope. If we get a hit, we're just going to do it. So that's yeah, Scott Connor. And let's see what our hit is. Grayson Rodriguez. So this is a medallion. I don't know, medallion's kind of cool. I know it's not the top of a dugout, but commemorative MILB Pro Debut medallion. This is a pretty sturdy card. That's out of 99, Grayson Rodriguez. There you go. Kind of cool. Look how thick that card is. All right, so those should be our relics. Uh, we're looking for one more auto, so we'll see if we get an auto out of here. So... Um, any, oh wow, okay, Wander Franco, and that was backwards, so I'm wondering what that means. We'll have to see if that's a short print or not, or what that, let's see, 4165. We'll have to see what the backs of some of these other ones, but I will take a, yeah, it might be a short print or something, because the code here is going to say 65, and the regular code here is 41, so I will have to take a look and see what that is. But that's pretty cool if that is a SP of a Wander Franco. Wander Franco. So I'll pause the, this when I set up for the uh, set up for the hit it forward at the end. We'll look into what that Wander Franco is, so we can see what that what it's all about. So Nick Decker, Nick Madrigal. There we go. Oh my God! Look at these white. How would you, why would you, oh my god, garbage plate night, look at that shirt, that, dude, this is hideous, just when I think it's bad, wow, I don't know, let me know in the comments which one's worse, the gorilla or the, uh, or that one, wow, okay, moving on, I don't know, this is kind of fun, I mean, you'll never see these types of team names and, uh, logos on people's shirts, so, Grenier. And, you know, like I said, I, I've been going to, we got about, oh, is this our next auto? Yeah, so this is going to be our second auto. So this is Miguel Maya. So it's nice. It's a Cubs player. That's cool. I don't think he'll be taking Contreras' place anytime soon. That's not, that's not what you want to see when you're, you're a superior defensive catcher. Top prospect in the Cubs system. That's kind of cool. 12 homers and all right. Okay. I'll take it. I will take that. Cubs hit any day of the week. Appreciate that. All right, got Seth Beer. There's a great name. I think people have been collecting his cards too. Boise Hawks. Oh, I gotta look into them. All right, so again, 
in a lot of my breaks, we get the hits out of the way first. And Oh, nice, Vlad Guerrero Jr., that's cool. So that we can concentrate on the other stuff. So what would be kind of cool is a low-numbered card at this point. Joey Bart, there we go. Another. Those were the two people that uh, people wanted to get out of Bowman was the uh, Joey Bart and Wander Franco. So you never know. You know, you, you, you get these cards and you, you put them away for Brendan McKay. I've been interested in what he's doing because I just love him being a hitter and a pitcher. Um, yeah, so it's one of these, oh, here we go, leaps and bounds, that, um, you know, you just put these cards away. So here's a Wander Franco. So this is, this is something. I don't know if it's a short print or how short print that is, but there's the two Wander Francos. Put it away, we'll go back to these and three years and see who panned out, uh, who's up in the big leagues, who, you know, who wasn't, so. Uh, but kind of cool. Mackenzie Gore, I just picked up his auto. Um, I believe he's for the Padres. And I uh, picked up his auto along with, I picked up a Royce Lewis auto as well. So this is Ben's Biz McCormick Field. This is in North Carolina. That's kind of cool. Nice shot. Minor League Stadium. Alec Baum, heard of him. Let me know in the comments if you've gone to a minor league stadium. I know uh, I was talking to Jason Aaron Goldberg all the time, and he said that he went out to um, a new place that was built in Vegas, and uh, he had a fun time. I believe it's the A's that he was talking about because he saw, um, um, that was Chad Spanberger. Speaking of Jason, he, he hit one of the Chad Spanberger's cards, but here's out of 50. So there's another hit right there, numbered hit. Wrong Blue Jays guy, but I will take it out of 50. Yeah, he was saying he had a fun time um, at the uh, the A's the A's game. So, yeah, I, I, I went down to, I want to say, King County Cougars before. That, is, that was, I don't know anymore, it's been a while. That was the Marlins affiliate. I think it was the single A affiliate for them. Went down there, had a good time. Um trying to think of oh nice okay so this is Mike Trout this is the the throwbacks that 10-year uh, retro anniversary that I've been talking about so that's cool Mike Trout the, what was it Cucamonga, Cucamonga Quakes that's cool nice wouldn't mind getting the Bryant out of that but there we go uh, six more seven more packs and you can get those autographed. Um, strangely enough, Force Whitley, he's supposed to be very good as well. I believe, I want to say Tampa, Tampa Rays? No, Astros. Force Whitley's for the Astros. I was looking at his. Unfortunately, Whitley's uh, autos are a little bit too much. They're out of my price range. There's Leaps and Bounds, Griffin Canning. Uh, I believe he came up for the Brewer Brewers, I want to say. Yeah, you know, just getting back into the whole swing of things for baseball, it's fun to try to learn these new players. Um, because I always listen to the fantasy sports station on Sirius. And, oh, Royce Lewis for the uh, Twins. Big prospect there. Um, and it's just fun to, to hear who people want to get off of waivers. And a lot of time when they're talking about who to get off of waivers, you hear these rookie names. So, and then I kind of start to figure out you know who's doing well they'll say who to pick up and then we're talking about daily fantasy too which I've never done uh, I don't know if anybody's out there is, does others oh, uh, Yankees that's on Florio um, if people do DFS daily fantasy sports um, I don't know if it's legal yet in Illinois to be honest so I don't even know if I Nick Senzel Reds I don't even know if I could play if I wanted to Jordan Adams all right, promo night uniforms, Timberjacks night. That that's a pretty decent. So far, that's been the most um, not as obnoxious as the other ones. The pretty tame uh, uniform for those uh, for those promos. Dave Dunning, Johnson, Drew Waters. So yeah, so maybe we'll get another another uh, low numbered card. We'll see. Um, only two packs left. 
like I said, another 10 year anniversary would be kind of cool. Especially the uh, the Bryant one. Reggie Lawson, Grayson Rodriguez, there we go. Pete Alonzo, who I think he, he, set a, he set a record for the Mets in terms of how many homers he's hit so far, I believe, as a rookie. Um, no other rookie, I think, has hit as many. So Alonzo doing big things for them. Unfortunately, Cespedes had that injury, that freak injury. So uh, Will Smith, not the Fresh Prince. We have the Leaps and Bounds Bington Rumble Ponies. The Rumble Ponies, that's a great name right there. Peter Lambert, and that's going to do it. So let's pause the video here. I will get set up for the Hit It Forward and find out about that Wander Franco. So a couple things here. This is a image variation, Wander Franco. So that is a pretty nice hit. Uh, I don't know if it's big enough for a Hit It Forward, but um, it's, it's nice. I'm, I'm watching one right now on eBay to see how much this goes for us. If this goes for something huge, then I'll do a Hit It Forward, um, but I'll announce that. So. Um, and then the uh, no purchase necessary, it's going to be Pro, Topps Pro Debut BB NPN Group H PO Box 5013, Scranton, Pennsylvania 18505. So wanted to get those out of the way. So now we have a hit it forward, and we're doing the hit it forward for hitting the Trevor Story out of Big League. So I appreciate all of the comments. So here we go. Here is everybody that is going to be entered. So good luck. Again, we're going to do it eight times in honor of Andre Dawson. Whoever is at the top of the list after eight is going to take home the Hit It Forward. And again, if you're unfamiliar with that, Hit It Forwards happen when I hit something good and I like to pass the good fortune along to a sub, and it's free. You know, you win something free. So I added some 2018 Panini Prism Football Fat Packs um, as I mentioned before, I'm going to be trying to open it or uh, adding some unopened product because a lot of people can't afford some of the, the items now. So I'm going to try to put some good stuff in the Hit It Forward list that is um, still sealed so you can rip it yourself. So, all right, that is list seven. So this is the next time. Whoever's at the top is going to win. Good luck. It come with an egg. All right, so um, egg, just shoot me an email. Um, and then we can figure out what we want to do for the Hit It Forward. So congratulations to you. Thank you for everybody that um, signed this up for it. And yeah, so we'll have to look and see about the Wander Franco, but um, I thought it was pretty cool with the, um, with the set. So I appreciate everybody checking in. Thanks for checking out the break. Appreciate it. Like, subscribe. And if you want to be part of the giveaways, you want to have to be part, you have to be a sub subscriber for that. Feel free to tell me about your hits in the comments. Always love to hear about those. And of course, your social media, Instagram and Twitter, at Like a Hog Cards, all one word. Hope you have a lot of luck in your next break. And thanks for watching. Like a Hawk.